Hip dysplasia can uh, be, you can be born with that condition called congenital hip dysplasia, or you can develop it later. Uh, it's something that the pediatricians are looking at uh, every day at every exam with a patient, uh, starting from birth and even in the hospital. They're doing a hip exam to see if the hips are unstable. If there's any question, they generally will refer to myself or somebody who does pediatric orthopedics to make sure that there's nothing wrong. It's important not to miss a, pedi a um, pediatric hip dislocation because it will affect the child throughout their entire life. If you find it early, the kids do great. And the way we can check things is with an ultrasound or an x-ray depending on their age. And then the treatments can be quite simple. They can be a harness, it can be a little brace like this, and that takes, a little brace like this can take care of perhaps 80 or 90 percent of the cases. If it doesn't respond to that, then we sometimes have to do surgery, but it's not very often one in a thousand uh, children seen. It's a combination of things. Uh, as the poster points out, it can be a, a combination of risk factors that can include uh, whites have it more than uh, other uh, nationalities. Uh, it can be because of breach presentation, family history that includes it, uh, other parts that are uh, deformed, like uh, club feet or, or a foot deformity from uh, being inside too small a, a confine uh, during the pregnancy. So those are things that all can um, effectively cause a, a condition that the hip will actually dislocate or be loose. Sometimes it gets better on its own, and sometimes it needs treatment. So unlike an adult who would have a dislocated hip, that's painful. Uh, kids, it's so loose if it goes in and out, it doesn't hurt at all. And generally, the exams aren't painful. They wouldn't even know it uh, in terms of uh, a painful condition if you d diagnose a two-year-old with a dislocated hip. They'll have a limp. They might have delays in development, but it generally doesn't hurt. Hip dislocation is very uncommon, one in a thousand frankly dislocated. However, uh, it's as many as 30 per 40 percent of hips are loose in some fashion in the first three to five weeks of life. It's those that we never used to find because ultrasounds and other diagnostic tests were uh, so insensitive. But now that we, we actually have better testing methods that find out that uh, we actually have to ignore some of the looseness because it gets better on its own. We're trying to find and treat those conditions that go on to um, worsening hip development and actually can go on to dislocate. We're much more aware of hip dysplasia now, and uh, ultrasound is a very powerful tool. It's not used under the age of five weeks, though, because they're all unstable after, or many are unstable at, under the age of five weeks. So we usually wait until older than about a month, month and a half, before we do an ultrasound. Um, before we treat it. It has improved the diagnosis in fewer cases of missed or, or late diagnosis of hip dysplasia in the twos and three and four-year-olds. Uh, we just don't see that as much now.